Tuesday Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. And a nearly picture perfect weekend with highs both Saturday and Sunday climbing into the upper 70s. I think we're going to do a little better this week. And the theme for the week warmer and wetter. I expect storms to really build back in across the Susquehanna Valley for tomorrow and highs all week long will be above seasonal averages. Outside right now, looking over the city of Lancaster, we have mostly sunny skies, just the thin milky cloud cover from the high level clouds from some showers off to our west. And currently, though, we are at 74 degrees. And there it is. That's that change. The winds are out of the south southwest, bringing in that more moist air back up from, I'd say, the deep south. Right now, it's 75 degrees in Gettysburg, 72 if you're watching us in York, and 75 also in Chambersburg. Here is your News 8 Storm Team forecast. Staying in Chambersburg, 80 to 84 degrees for our high today, with just a slim chance of an isolated shower, mainly west. I'd say the line from York to Carlisle and points to the west will have the best chance for that isolated shower. Lows tonight will be in the lower 60s, and it will feel muggy because the moisture will continue to funnel in from the south. And then heading in tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies and scattered showers and thunderstorms return, return rather to the Susquehanna Valley during the mid-afternoon. Some of them could produce some heavy rainfall. If you're going to be out and about side for the day today, the pollen count still is very high. The major players out there are walnut and the grasses, and the UV index now up to a nine. You could burn in less than 20 minutes if you don't cover up. Super Doppler 8. All clear locally across the Susquehanna Valley, but you can see just the chance of an isolated shower moving in from the west, and that cloud cover is thicker over western Pennsylvania. A little farther to the west is the storm center right now spinning closer toward Minneapolis. The storm center will move into southern Canada, but a cold front extended down from that is going to help generate those showers heading into tomorrow afternoon. High pressure has been keeping us dry and comfortable, but now that it's off along the East Coast, the winds are coming up from the deep south. That's what's increasing that humidity out there and eventually will help develop those showers for tomorrow. Here's a look at our predictor models taking you through the day today. Here we are at 6 30 in the afternoon. You can see just the chance of an isolated shower, mainly for our far western counties. And then heading into the overnight hours, the clouds will thicken up. And then heading into tomorrow afternoon will be the best chance for these spotty showers and thunderstorms. We're talking mainly between the hours of 2 o'clock and 10 o'clock. Not everybody's going to get the rain. But they certainly will pack a punch with some heavier downpours in those stronger thunderstorms. Then the cold front starts to move into the Commonwealth. It's not moving very fast. We'll have the threat for a few isolated showers lingering in the forecast Tuesday on into Wednesday. And then another storm system will develop off to our west and ride right along this stalled frontal boundary that will be sitting off to our south. And we could see some showers return also on Thursday. So low to mid 80s. The best chance for rain for the week ahead will be Tuesday on into Tuesday night, also into Thursday. Calmer weather, more pleasant weather returns to Susquehanna Valley for the weekend. All right. Well, we can't complain about this past weekend, that's for beautiful. sure. Oh, it was. Thanks, Ethan.